Hey everyone, it's Hayes and it's Miraculous Monday, so it's time for another screaming session. And in today's screaming session, we will be taking a look at adoration, because even though you all voted for destruction, you decided you'd actually rather have this episode instead, which I'm totally down for because of right now. I still think destruction is the worst episode of this season. <laughs> so the episode opens with Andre telling Zoe not to bury her dreams as he does just that with this little box he keeps up on the roof of the hotel like well done mate what a wonderful role model you are for zoe but oh my god i swear to god every single time i see the opening of this episode i still think the mayor is about to admit he used to have feelings for emily it was a shock to my system the first time but then he calls audrey sweet and i'm not sure which one of those is worse both 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 is good. So once Andre has gone to give his wife a f foot massage, I definitely didn't need to know that ever, we get to school and they're apparently planning a dance, which they have conveniently never mentioned before. That's great. Zoe and Marinette are picked by their classes to help organise it, and Zoe goes over to Marinette's to plan. And she's apparently never been in Marinette's ring before. <laughs> This is um, a little bit awkward. Well done, lads. <laughs> However, the benefit of the scene is we get to see the dress Marinette has designed. Oh my god, yes! I swear to god, we best see this in the show or I'll scream. Slash, make it for myself. One of the two. Second one is less embarrassing, but let's be real. I have done many embarrassing things in the course of this channel to the point where I'd even describe myself as unemployable at this point, I'll be honest, so that's wonderful. <laughs> so Marinette and Zoe rock up to the hotel and they're holding hands and please know I do not ship this in the slightest. I will be a Love Square stan and Chief Adrian at Shipper until the day I die but I cannot deny that this isn't cute as heck. Chloe and Zoe end up arguing and Audrey arrives and she walks through looking constipated but unbothered both about the constipation and her children and speaking of constipation <laughs> i have a point don't worry do you all think marinette kept the medication adrian gave her from back with her as like oh adrian got me a gift i don't think she used it because um not that she said but i don't think she had a constipation at any point in the show between then and now but like do you reckon she kept it in her room like you know, because Adrian got it. I'm sorry, I'll stop talking about constipation now. So Zoe and Marinette go and talk to Andre. He's like, hold on, let me just uh, let me just get this big ass gold frame photo of myself I keep behind the front desk at all times. Like, not even I am that much of a narcissist, Andre. But however, he was the best wingman to Zoe. He was great. So while Andre is busy shipping his stepdaughter with Marinette, the Aggress family are sitting down for raclette i didn't know what it was before the episode never heard of it i'll be honest natalie looks like she'd rather be in hell than here adrian and daddy aggress look pretty happy but oh my god no one is matching the bodyguard's energy maurice his face oh my god he is so hyped for this whatever it is because i'm still not sure to be honest but he obviously cannot wait oh my god he is <laughs> so hyped but then gabriel babes he offers natalie some salami a perfectly normal question but the way natalie looks at him is like he's just offered like i don't know what natalie's allergic to but it looks like he's offered her a food that would kill her she looks so offended by it i was personally offended and then for whatever reason adrian asked permission to go to the dance specifically with marinette i can understand asking permission to go to the dance but why did you have to be like oh can i go with marinette like go with whoever you want just ask permission to leave the house that night like does it matter who you go with I, just, I don't know apparently it matters to gabriel so i'm not even sure why he asks him but natalie is like um power move questions gabriel babes about it and that face oh my god natalie marry me so lila and chloe come up with a plan to get at marinette and judging by sabrina's reaction it sounds like they asked her to murder marinette and honestly, I don't know why Sabrina suddenly grew a conscience and said no, because she's been complicit with everything else so far in the show. She goes to leave and Chloe says, Like, no, are we supposed to remember that? I've never seen this in my life. 
like has this been another episode i don't remember at all like what even is the akuma in this episode it's so weird like take revenge on chloe and lila instead sabrina not marinette so over in zoe's room the girls talk about the dance and romance but my question is why does zoe have a train track on her wall what on earth are you doing in here girly pop so marinette leaves the hotel and she's like oh my god alia zoe has a secret crush Key word here is secret, for God's sake, Marinette. She can keep her identity a secret, but literally nothing else. Amazing. But Marinette, please do not help anyone to ever confess their feelings for someone else. It's just, it's not your calling in life. Don't do it, okay? Please don't. It's a terrible idea. Marinette and Zoe travel around Paris getting things for the dress and Sabrina follows them. And I swear to God, this show tests me daily. Like, I usually try and prepare the thumbnail for my analysis videos, you know, the day before or something, just to save a bit of time you know the day the episode comes out and I was like you know what I'll do what I usually do I'll put the Akuma victim in the thumbnail and then I realized Sabrina is invisible <sighs> like when I when I realized I just sat and despaired for like a solid 10 minutes like I said <sighs> this show test me daily they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it and Sabrina also grabs a bread paddle which I think I'm pretty sure in my uh, trailer analysis, I said was a boat all. I need my eyes checking. So Marinette and Zoe meet everyone at the Eiffel Tower to discuss their ideas, and Marinette is like, anyone who doesn't like dancing, isn't afraid of heights, and who also doesn't mind dying, can go on the trampoline that will be set up stretched between the legs of the Eiffel Tower. I swear to God, do they not have any health and safety laws in France? I don't. I don't know. Also, Tom and Sabine, I mean this with the utmost peace and love, but you are both so stupid. Why did you have to wait for Chloe to point out the doilies belong to you? Like, how did you not recognise it? They have your initials on. I don't understand anyone in the show. However, I do think this has to be one of the best lines in the whole show. So then Marinette gets expelled from school without having any chance to defend herself. Her parents say nothing, neither does Adrian. The only person who does is Zoe. What a great group of people. We then get to the Akuma fights, which features Cat Noir spraying Sabrina in the face with glue. They really don't care about health and safety guidelines after all. So now let's get to the confession scenes. And oh my God, the Zoe net scene is adorable. So cute. Like the look Zoe gives Marinette is just, oh, it's so cute. And how you can see Marinette reflected in her eyes and then the music. Oh, it's all so beautiful. Then they hug and after they're still there for each other and Zoe encourages her to go to confess to Adrian. It's just amazing. Marinette runs to the mansion and tells Adrian how she feels. Not gonna lie, I don't think the scene is as cute as a Zoe Net confession, but I'll take it. She's finally told him she loves him. <laughs> but just as they're about to kiss... No. I'm going to use that clip for the rest of time. But like, come on, Senti denies if you're watching. Tell me how you feel after this. Watching Gabriel Babes zooming backwards into the darkness, fiddling with his ring as Adrian cannot kiss his girlfriend. Come on now. So let's take a look at the fan art this week. First of all, we have a piece from Kijon and it's this awesome, awesome drawing of Cat Noir. I love it so much. The hair, the eye, yes beautiful and the other pieces we have are all from Nathos. The first piece is Nathaniel using the Rooster Miraculous and I must say he does look pretty good but no offence Nath, no one could ever look better than Mark. Mark, my son, he has my genes, you know what I mean, obviously no one could look better than Mark but he still looks amazing and then we also have Chloe fusing together the Bee and the Ladybug Miraculous and I doubt it'll ever happen, but I think she looks fabulous. And the final thing we have from Nath, he works super duper hard on this, is a transformation sequence animation of Gabriel Babes from Deflagration with the butterfly and the ladybug. Miraculous. Monarch book, right? Yeah, I don't know. I've already forgotten, I'll be honest. So much has happened with spoilers in the past few weeks. But anyway, it's playing on the screen. Looks absolutely amazing. I don't know much about animation other than... It takes a very long time and it's very, very difficult. I could never do it, but this looks just absolutely astounding. So thank you very much to everyone for sending in your fan art. So there won't be a poll up tomorrow just because the next screaming session you did vote for was destruction, but I'm assuming you're gonna want either a migration or derision screaming session and then probably an intuition one before we cycle back around to destruction. But anyway, besties, I love to know what your favorite moment from this episode was. I'll see you in the next one.